Hey everybody, this is Chef Nino and we're doing cooped up and cooking, cooking class today. We're doing crispy, crunchy, oven fried wings. Crispy, crunchy, oven fried. I know what you're thinking. I like my fried wings. Hold on. This tastes as good or better, less Hey, Monica, thank you, Bradley, for coming in. Yeah, good to see y'all. Miss you guys. Um, and, of course, I got my mask off. I don't need that in my house. Uh, good to see you. But we're going to crispy crunchy. I'm going to give you some techniques today that is so easy. I know you're going to do it. And it's so many possibilities you can do with these wings. We're basically going to get our chicken wings, or you can get some chicken pieces, some legs, or some uh, thighs, or whatever you like. I like the wings. Uh, hey, Lisa, good to see you. Hey, Robert, thanks for chiming in. Good to see you. Hey, all right. Uh, yeah, uh, the, I was in the United States Air Force, and, uh, you know, the Marines have hoo real. The Air Force has, hey. No, I'm just joking. Uh, I was in the Air Force. Uh, in fact, check that out. Because I was in the United States military in Germany between 79 and 1982, uh, they said that I can't give blood. Really, check it out. When you go get blood, they say, were you in Europe during these years in the military? Why? You could have been exposed to eating mad cow uh, from uh, England. And we did. Uh, so there's no way to test. You might be a carrier, but they can't test it. So anyway, to make a long story short, they said, I can't get blood. I may have mad cow. Uh, and so there's no way to test. But I feel I, I don't have any other symptoms. All right. So now what are we going to go? Uh, but anyway... Uh, I don't feel I have any uh, symptoms at all. You know, uh, this uh, uh, COVID-19 has affected our economy. A lot of people are suffering uh, financially, yours truly, etc. cetera. And, uh, but anyway, I found it's a creative way to do it. I'm going to market Lipitor. That's right. So anyway, here it is right here. If you want to order you some, you order Chef, Chef Nino's Lipitor. Do you have chapped lips? Not anymore. Since I've been using Chef Nino's Lipitor, they are smooth as a baby's bottom. Yes. All right. Get yours while supplies last. Tax and title not included. Void with it. Prohibited. Deal option may vary. VIN number 554. Not sold in Vermont. Must be in it. Standard data rates may apply. Hey. All right. We're going to get rid of the Lipitor. All right. We, we're live in my own kitchen. I'm over here on Central Avenue talking to you guys. And, uh. Hey, y'all. Hey, Kyle. Hey, uh, it's your, hey, everybody. Good to see you. We get a lot of folks. I love it. And what I want you to do, when you uh, finish the video, I'm going to post the recipe for my crispy, crunchy, oven fried chicken wings. And once you cook it, I want you to take a picture, send it back to me. All right? I wanna, I, I'm want i not going to grade you. You're going to give me some ideas, too. <clears throat> so let me tell you something. Uh, we're basically going to put some flour on some chicken wings. Uh, we're going to season them and we're going to bake them. But I want to give you some serious techniques uh, so to make sure you have a very successful first experience with these crispy, crunchy, oven fried wings. That's a whole lot healthier than the fried. And the cleanup, there is no cleanup. All right? When you fry something, you know what I'm talking about. All right. So anyway, uh, we all need to be a little more heart healthy and baby steps to change. Uh, and so we're changing the methods of cooking to get... To more optimum health and to be honest with you i find that these hey tiffany hey pamela uh i find that these chicken wings taste a lot better more of a pure chicken flavor rather than hey janelle more than more than the fried chicken wings you're gonna love it now are y'all ready oh, hey do me a favor uh i'm captain nino and uh we might be experiencing a little turbulence we ask that you Tray tables in an upright and locked position. Make sure your uh, seat belt's fairly uh, fastened. Uh, we might be experiencing a little bit of a tur turbulence uh, today. This is live. This is not professionally done. We did not want the professionals to come in. We want maximum separation and adhere to what our orders are and submit happily to them. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching, and we're going to dive right into that. Now, I know what you're thinking. A lot of folks says, well, I don't want to put flour. Uh, I want something a little lighter, maybe, uh, et cetera. You know what I did also? I got me some almond flour, and I got me some coconut flour, all right? So think about that. Now you can have crispy, crunchy, oven-fried wings with no flour, uh, wheat flour, et cetera. You're going to have your coconut flour and your almond flour. A lot of possibilities uh, 
Yeah. And also, if your wife or girlfriend says that uh, you're losing your romantic touch and she plays a song, you don't bring me flower, flowers anymore, you can bring her all kind of flowers, uh, coconut, uh, uh, almond, and uh, all the different kind of flowers. Anyway, there we are. I'm feeling better. I had to go to the doctor uh, yesterday. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I, I, it's just allergies, you know. But I, I'm feeling, they said, fill out this form. So I'm filling out the form and it says nearest relative. And I put eight and a half miles. But what does that got to do with anything? Then it says who to call in case of an emergency. You know what I put? A more qualified doctor. Because I'm not going to put a family member. They can't help me. But anyway, the doctor said, why are you here? I said, doc, I think I'm addicted to Twitter. You know what he said? I'm not following you. Hey, I'm telling, hey, if I'm lying, I'm <laughs> dying. But anyway, uh, so anyway, I told the receptionist, she said, what are you here for? And uh, I said, uh, I want to see the doctor. She said, why? I said, nobody sees me. I feel like I'm invisible. I just slipped through the crowds. I'm, I, I'm invisible. You know what she said? The doctor can't see you. Um, see? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyway, I'm trying that uh, voodoo acupuncture. Yeah, it's working real good. Don't even have to go to the doctor. All of a sudden, you're walking down the road. Oh, that feeling. Oh, oh, yeah, voodoo acupuncture. That's right. Hey, Tamara. Hey, Donna. Thank y'all for watching. Truly, it's a privilege for me to come into your homes and hearts by the way of this camera. Amazing technology, really. All right. So we're going to do our crispy, crunchy, oven fried chicken wings. Are y'all ready? Here we go. All right. So first of all, we're going to start with some... Uh, Chicken wings here. Can y'all see my wings? Yeah. All right. Now you want to make sure they're defrosted fully, not at room temperature. This, make sure you practice time temperature control, especially with uh, chicken. Uh, you want to make sure it stays in the refrigerator. Now what we did was we got some paper towels and we dried those wings. You're going to have a greater adhesion. Your flour, whether you're using regular flour, coconut flour, almond flour, it's going to stick a lot better to it. All right. Make sure they're dry and not uh, wet. All right, there we go. All right, now, for the sake of the class, our program today, but I don't know what we call this, uh, virtual, yeah. I don't think I'm alive, I think I'm a hologram, honestly, yeah. Okay, so look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do these today uh, with some all-purpose flour, although I already have in the oven different uh, wings cook different ways. I have some cook with almond flour, some cook with regular flour, some cook with just Cajun seasoning, and I have some with the uh, coconut flour. So I'm gonna give you so many ideas. You're gonna be uh, you're gonna be going to the Rouse and say I'm gonna get me some chicken wings. I watch Chef Nino's video and I'm gonna get my shop crew. We get some wings and flour, etc. Okay. All right. So it's uh, basically just two parts uh, to this recipe. You, your flour is in one uh, bowl and your chicken wings in the other. Now, I can't emphasize enough. You want to season the flour and the chicken wings, okay? And I'm using some uh, Chef Nino's Cajun Adrenaline, less salt than liters, no MSG. So we're going to season our wings, all right? And we're going to season our flour, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and puff these wings here. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I'm still getting used to that new tube the doctor, uh, the dentist gave me. You can't hardly see it. Um, you know, and I said uh, to the dentist, I said, uh, I want my tube, new tube to match my other teeth. So he gave me one with four cavities. Mm -hmm. Before then, I had to get gap insurance. Yeah, it was really something. Uh, do I deliver? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> one call, that's all. You are so silly. Hey, uh, yeah. So anyway, my cavity was so deep. You know how deep that cavity was? They had to call 811 before they dug. Mmm, terrible. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to get that seasoning all around there. Now look, switch it up. Get you some Jamaican jerk seasoning. Uh, hey, Teresa. Hey, Nathan. Good to see you. Thank you for watching. Uh, I want you to cook these and take a picture and send it to me. Really, I want to see how y'all doing. All right. The goal of this Cooked Up and Cooking with Chef Nino classes uh, through the virtual is uh, we all in this together. And I want to come to your home and make you smile. I want your belly to feel good with some good, easy-to-follow recipes. I want your heart to be happy 
And I want to make your face hurt you smiling so much, okay? Be encouraged, everybody. And it's good to see you. Thank you for your friendship. All right. Michelle, hey, watch out for the tomato paste. <laughs> I remember that. Yes. All right. So our flour is seasoned. We're going to kind of mix that up a little bit right there. All right. Now we're going to combine the seasoned flour with the seasoned chicken wings. Okay. Now, at this point, if you, wouldn't, if you don't want to use all-purpose flour, you would get your coconut flour or your almond flour, season it, and do the exact same way. Hey, Kay. Hey, Michelle. Good to see you. All right. I'm going to get rid of this right here. All right. We're going to go ahead and... Y'all, we're doing, for you just joined us, crispy, crunchy oven fried chicken wings. We're getting them ready. Okay? And like I said before, if you're just joining us, uh, can you cook for me? One call, that's all. We accept all forms of payment. That's right. There we go. We're just going to make sure they're good, good and coated. Uh, really, if I was not on camera, I would probably wash them with my hands. Not wash them, but stir them with my hands. There we go. And now, now here is another trick. First trick is season your flour, season your uh, chicken wings. The next trick is, all right, you want to shake off any excess flour before you, uh, you always make me laugh. Good, I'm glad. Good, we need to laugh. The scripture says a merry heart does good like a medicine. And we all need a medicine. We need a, an injection of medicine and laughter. Not taking this thing serious, but we need hope. Hey, Mark, thank you for watching. Hey, Dawn, good to see you. We need hope. We need encouragement. We need to bless all the people around us. There we go. All right. Now, we're going to set that oven to 425 degrees. And what we're going to do, we're going to put them on a cookie sheet. Or, like me, I am uh, kind of a bachelor. Yeah, can you, can you believe I'm single? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. No, I am. But uh, I love disposable, all right? So anyway, Grant, what's up, boy? Hey, Angie, good to see you. Billy, thank you for watching. This is fun. I think this is going to be the wave of the future. Uh, so we're going to see. All right, so we're going to put those seasoned uh, chicken wings uh, right on uh, whatever pan you choose. In one, one class that I'm going to be doing here, we're going to uh, appeal to the vegan folks. That's right. Uh, and it's good to go like Meatless Monday, but I know a lot of people, they are not vegan, but they want to kind of like halfway, halfway. So I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a, 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 a hot dog. All right. Uh, I, yeah, I miss Rouse's too, going to Rouse's and it's going to be up and running one day. What's up, Wardell? Good to see you from Mexico, Mr. Wardell, one of my best friends. Hey, all right. So uh, <clears throat> anyway, when all this gets back, there's our chicken wings right there. Okay, can, can y'all see that? 425, we're going to cook them for 25 minutes on one side. Uh, hey, Louise, good to see you. Hey, Carol, look, look at all my friends. Hey. All right, 425 oven degrees, uh, 25 minutes on one side, and another 15 minutes on the other side until, <clears throat> until the internal temperature reads, 165. Hey, Miss Carol Hammers and Hammers Maintenance. Uh, they maintain my airplane. Good to see you, Mr. Charlie and Lindy and everybody out there. Um, you want to get an instant read thermometer, okay? All right, you can turn it on. And uh, when it's cooked, I want to show you what to do with this thing. Very important. Uh, do they cut the wings in little drumettes? Very good. Now, uh, you can cut them up in drumettes. Um, what you do is, uh, I actually did a couple of them. That way here, thank you, Mr. Becknell, for watching. All right. Uh, yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to dissect it. You're going to cut it right in the middle, and you're going to cut, get rid of the flapper. Okay. So you're going to have more of a buffalo style. Okay. You can do whatever style you like. I find, uh, other than presentation, presentation a lot better if you have little drumettes and everything. But I like to keep them whole. I think they're juicier. Or, or is it more juicy? Do I use a comparative superlative? Or diminutive. Sometimes I feel that I'm exaggerated. I'm a, 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 a I just exaggerate. I have exaggerated hyperbole. I'm a sophisticated rhetoric and inebriated with exuberance of my own verbosity. But yeah, you can do it either way. But I find it's juicier if you leave them whole for presentation, like the traditional uh, drumettes or buffalo wings. Go ahead and cut it right in half there at the joint. All right, and get rid of the flapper. 
all right? Uh, how would that look here, all right? Uh, maybe we can do a life size, okay? Here's my, here's a, here's a wing, okay? All right, you're gonna cut that part off. You got your drumette here, and then what you're gonna do is get rid of that flapper. Just get rid of it. But I wouldn't throw it away. I put it in the freezer until you get a whole bunch of them, defrost it, and make some good chicken stock. Or when you're making a gumbo, you can boil that down and get your stock. A what? Billy, what you talking about? Kyla, good to see you. Hey, all right. Hey, all right. Now, we are ready. We already cooked these ahead of time. I didn't want to take a whole show and uh, for 40 minutes or so. <clears throat> uh, Miss Gilly, hey, good to see you. Hey, thank y'all for watching. I'm so impressed with the turnout. Thank y'all so much. Um, um, so 425, we already cooked these. Now let me get rid of the, the raw. I'm gonna set this aside. All right. Share it with your friends. We're gonna be doing cooked up and cooking twice a week, moving forward, starting next week. Uh, hey, Chris. Uh, good to see you. Yeah, miss you, dude. Yeah, all right. Hey, and you know about nutrition and the value of uh, instead of frying, baking, that kind of thing. My friend uh, Chris Carey right there. All right. Now, are y'all ready? All right, here we go. We're going to take out the chicken wings. They've been baking for 45, 40 minutes, um, and I wanted to show you what we're going to do. Now, let me tell you something. Another key, when you are taking out a, a hot pan uh, out of the uh, oven. Folks, please, tip. Uh, this is tip number seven, okay? Look, uh, let, let, make sure you use oven mitts. Mm. The mitts are vital, okay? Yes, okay, all right. There we go. Look at here. You know what this one is? This one is the coconut wings. Let me put that there. Look at these beautiful coconut wings, okay? Oven crispy coconut wings, all right? You smell them, they smell like coconut. In fact, <clears throat> let me put one close to the camera so you can smell it. Don't that smell good, y'all? Uh, uh, uh. That's the coconut, all right? These are the regular ones. All I did was put Cajun seasoning on them. Look at that. The best chicken wings you've ever had. Better than going out to eat and a whole lot cheaper when you go grocery shopping, yeah. All right, that's the regular one. All right, now here is the almond flour. Look at the almond almond flour right there. Can y'all see that right there? Yes, almond flour wing, and it smells like almond. It tastes like almonds, and it's it may, may pack on less pounds than regular flour. Who knows? I'm not a nutritionist, a dietitian, but I do know uh, that coconut and almonds are a whole lot better than all that wheat bleach and all that other stuff. Yeah. Well, Carol, you said you can almost smell them. Get closer to the camera. All right. I shouldn't have to tell you this. I know this is one on one, but seriously, I'm going to have to send you back to uh, elementary cooking. Okay. All right. There <clears throat> and here, here are the ones that I did with the regular flour. Okay. All right. Look at that beautiful oven crispy wing right there. Okay. Now, check this out. All right. <clears throat> When you are cooking your wings, you want to get your instant read thermometer, and while they're cooking, what you want to do is, um, you don't want to go through the smallest part of the chicken, all right? You want to go through the fattest part of the chicken and make sure it says 185. These cooled off a little bit. I cooked them early, but I did check them, and, and it, w it was 165, 165 uh, for chicken, okay? Just go through the... Uh, the, the fat part of the chicken when you do it. You don't want to undercook chicken, all right? You don't want to do that, all right? Now, we're gonna do some more tips. Are y'all ready? All right, keep watching, we're almost done, okay? All right, yes, yes, yes. Okay, now, let me introduce you to my little friends, all right? Here we go. Now, at this point, you can eat them just like that just with the Cajun seasoning or with the flour, <clears throat> the regular flour. Hey, Jackie, good to see you. Hey, Blanca, thank you for watching. Uh, Ashley, hey, they keep coming in, wave, yeah. Okay, uh, you are with the coconut fl uh, flour or almond flour, <clears throat> you can do that by themselves. Or you can take them a step further and bathe them, the final, final uh, touch, in some of these things. <coughs> I don't have any problem, I'm telling you. It's just me talking and getting excited. I need a little bit of water. All right, 
Yeah, I got some. I got me some Rouse's lime water, sparkling water. They bring it over from Italy. Really good stuff. Mmm. There we go. All right. So, um, take them a step further. Look what I got. Sweet chili sauce. All right. Imagine your almond chicken wings cooked and then tossing them in this Asian uh, sweet chili sauce. Or how about this? Tiki masala. All right. You can make it kind of an Indian-ish or Asian. Look at, or you can get a curry. I love shopping at Rouse's. You get so many different ideas uh, what to do, etc. cetera. Uh, somebody says, what you cooking? Thank you, Melly. You came in a little bit late. That's all right. Crispy, crunchy oven fried wings. Look at it. Crispy, crunchy oven fried wings. We, uh, we just made, uh, really, really just uh, showered them with some flour, coconut flour, almond flour, regular flour, and then some with just Cajun seasoning, okay? So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna choose the uh, almond flour here, and we're gonna kinda toss them in uh, one of these. Let, let me pick one. I'm gonna do the uh, sweet chili sauce right here. Love this stuff. Hey, 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 what's up, Mr. <laughs> Richmond? You so silly. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna take these, Mm. Almond crispy chicken wings. We're gonna put a little bit of our chili sauce in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Kind of toss that around a little bit. Put in a little bit more. And like I said, folks, right after. Uh, hey Ross, good to see you. Hey Andy, thank you for watching. Right after the show, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, so what's the Indian bread called again? The Indian bread is called naan, N A A N, naan. All right. Uh, never heard of that. Went to a uh, Indian restaurant one time, uh, and uh, he said, uh, "Will you be having the naan?" I'm like, "Man, let me order first. Don't tell me I can't." Mr. Lewis, good to see you, brother. All right. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and plate this, and we're gonna try this out right here it's a shame I can't deliver some of these to y'all look at that look at that Asian chili sauce almond crusted chicken wings y'all this is great do you deliver I want some of each I love the spicy okay yeah all right so anyway here it is folks I don't know if you can see that how about that huh yes 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 oven crispy chicken wings this is the almond crusted ones with some Asian chili sauce. You can uh, go to the uh, Rouse's and really go to the Mexican Isle, Asian Isle, etc. There's so many different ethnic things. You can take some of that and make it your own, all right? Instead of Cajun seasoning, you can put Jamaican jerk. You can put whatever seasoning you like. Be creative and text me back or, uh, you know, during the uh, Facebook, whatever, and say, what kind do you like? And uh, try them out. <clears throat> and I want you to take a picture and... Uh, Send them back to me. Yeah. Now, I want to taste these for final approval. Is that all right? Yeah. Are y'all ready? All right. Look, they just fall off the bone. Falling right off the bone. Right there. Mm, mm, mm. 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 Mm, mm, mm. I'm tasting the almond breading. Literally, they're falling off the bone. They're great. This is a nice, quick, and easy meal, and something to do, um, and something to do with all that food you got in your freezer that you bought for this uh, uh, coronavirus uh, thing. You couldn't go out. And uh, Wardell, thank you. Uh, you want to know? Can you do them on the grill? Yes, you can. All right. What I would do. Hey, Marcy, good to see you. Thank you for watching. Um, what you can do also while you're doing it on the grill. A word of caution. I would do medium to high heat. Uh, and I would uh, sear them, you know, for about five or ten minutes on each side to get that good grilled crusty flavor. Uh, and then I would put them on indirect heat for another 30, 40 minutes until it, the, the internal temperature is cooked. Like this right here, they would kind of burn and you wouldn't want that, okay? All right. Hey, Miss Marcy, good to see you. Yeah. Hey, Heather. Hey, Debbie. My neighbor is watching. Hey, you can probably hear me from out the window. I got the house open. It's a beautiful day today. Um, but whatever your method you like, you can put them in the oven, you can put them on the grill, whatever you like, 
get to cooking some of these things you got in your refrigerator. And that's another purpose of the cooped up and cooking videos. I want to have the privilege to share with you some quick and easy recipes. Uh, get your kids involved. Heather, you know, I, I, I want y'all to get your kids involved in this. They would love it. And uh, there we are. I don't know about you, but I'm going to eat me some wings. Hey, Mr. Tim, good to see you. Thank y'all for watching. And uh, thank y'all so much, Routes folks, for having the store stop and dedicated group of employees tirelessly worked and worked and worked. We sure appreciate that uh, as uh, consumers. I'm telling the truth. Wow. So you can get your coconut flour, almond flour, regular flour, whatever one you like. All right. And so then after you cook them, you can eat them just like that. Or you can marinate them or bathe them, I call them, in different sauces. The chili sauce, uh, curry sauce, uh, masala, or traditional, your creamy ranch buffalo. All right? And uh, we're definitely going to save this video so we can use it further. Cooped up and cooking with Chef Nino. Let me know what you want to see. What kind of episodes, okay? Because I want to be a servant to you. I want to be a blessing and give you what you need. Uh, couples date night cooking. Uh, food that's going to help you boost your immune system, etc. Uh, yeah, so that I appreciate you watching so much. Chef Nino cooped up and cooking. And thank you for giving me the privilege uh, to come into your home. Uh, and uh, until next time, have a heart full of courage. And don't give in to fear. And God bless you. And keep smiling. Thank you for watching. Love y'all.